it's much more than just a Halloween story. The Nymph of Witch Glen is one of the first classical ballets choreographed in 1836. And you can see it locally. We're joined by Norbe Risco, who's the artistic director of the Kentucky Ballet, and by the principal dancer, Kelsey Van Tyne, to learn more about it. No witch here with us today, by the way. <laughs> right? No. Oh, well, it sounds like a, a wonderful story. The ballet is set in Scotland. Tell us about it, Norbe. It's, uh, it's a great story. It's a great plot. It's um, about a Scot man that is engaged and he's about to be married, but he has a dream with the nymph and he falls in love with her. So um, eventually during the whole uh, drama of the course of the ballet, he realizes that he cannot have her because she, she just flies. So uh, a witch that he throw out of his house give him a spelled uh, scarf with it and he, she promised him that she will be able uh, he will be able to catch her with that, and instead of catching her, uh, what he, it happened, she dies because of that. Mm. So uh, it's a very romantic story, and it, like you said, it was set in 1836, and Kentucky Valley Theater is bringing it back to the stage here in Lexington uh, the weekend of the 24th and the 25th. Oh, well, Kelsey, you have the starring role. Uh, tell us how you've been uh, preparing for that. Well, it's been a, a totally different experience for me. It's a different style um, than what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. And it's very, like Norbe had said, it's very romantic and soft. And you really have to portray the story as well as play the character. And mm -hmm. the character itself is, it's been different for me. There's like the dying scene at, at the very end. That's, it's, that's been the most challenging part. Um, pretending that, you know, that feeling the pain of my wings falling off and trying to portray that to the audience has been challenging, but it's all coming together very well. And, and this obviously is not something that people in this area have ever seen. Is it okay for the whole family to come? It is a family, very well family oriented. It's great mm -hmm. because as a matter of fact, some of our students, they are part of it. In the, the part that is called real dance, it's a, a Scottish dance that is very popular and mm -hmm. we have little kids performing there. So you'll see men in kilts and beautiful costume sets. <laughs> so it's a, an incredible show. Well, a couple of uh, performances or a couple of show dates uh, there we saw October 25th and 6th, 24th, right? 24th, 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 25th, 25th. there it is, 8 o'clock at the Lexington Opera House, and I'm sure it's off to the uh, Christmas performances before you know it. Right after uh, oh, we finish, <laughs> we will be working on the night before Christmas, which is our next performance in December 27th and 28th at the Lexington Opera House. All right, All right. well, this is the thing to do for Halloween. <laughs> Thank you very <laughs> Thank much. You for Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Well, so